Hello and welcome to the part 4 of our exam series. In this video, we will clean up our code. In last one, we carried out CRUD operations in a single file that was main.rs. So the code was quite messy. So we will clean up our code. We will divide it in uh, different routers and handlers. Uh, handler will have our logic and routers will have our routes. We will also in like uh, define some cores and uh, use extension so that we don't have to create database connections again and again and we will use uh, .env to get the connection string instead of hard coding it into our code so let's begin so just like our models module uh, we will create uh, a router module where we will divide our uh, authentication route like login and register and update and delete in separate files uh, but before that we will need uh, two additional uh, crates one is tower http and the other one is uh, env tower http uh, will also need a feature for course we will be using course and now uh, env Okay, now we have our tower HTTP, so let's create a folder called routes and inside that create a mod.rs. We will import this routes here, sorry, declare it the routes here. Let's create a file called uh, authrouter.rs. So this will have a router which will have all our authentication route that is login, register, forget password and all. Okay, so let's import this file here. Now once it's added in our uh, mod.rs, it should be accessible in our main as well or anywhere else in the project and our intelligence should also work uh, in uh, auth underscore routes okay now let's uh, create a method uh, that will return a router and uh, we also will create a course layer for that let's create a variable called course and uh, we'll set a few rules here so the methods allowed should be only post for now because we are only creating and uh, logging in so post is enough uh, we might need get in future but let's uh, keep it to till post for now uh, for origin we will set to any but uh, you can set your custom origin as well finally let's create a router new router and add some routes here so I'll just copy paste login and register routes from our main and now we need to create our handlers so these methods uh, we will create a separate uh, module called handlers and that will contain uh, all the logic portion of our uh, api so let's create a folder called handler and uh, make a file inside that folder called mod.rs same thing like routers we will need to define all of our modules in mod.rs for handler and before that we will uh, define declare our handlers inside our main now let's create our auth handler Finally, we can copy paste our uh, register and insert methods inside our handler and after that we will have to include all the imports. So 
so we have been using entity user uh, so let's just change this user as well to entity user okay now inside our auth uh, routes we will use a crate uh, the handler crate and from handler crate we'll use auth handler now simply you have to do auth handler uh, on from auth handler we should be able to access our uh, methods one thing we need to do is uh, make these uh, functions public uh, because uh, it they are not accessible right now Okay, now everything looks good. Uh, yep, everything looks good. So let's just put this in a variable and return that variable. Okay, so our auth routes are ready and we should be able to use them in our main. But first, we will create our uh, user routes as well and then we'll add th these both routes in our main now same thing we need to create uh, auth routes sorry uh, user routes as well as uh, user handler so first let's create user handler and shift our methods there okay now after importing everything our uh, user handler is ready now let's create our user routes uh, let's copy our auth route and change a few things Okay, so in this router we will be using more uh, methods other than post so we will add those as well so get post and delete okay so we are done with uh, methods now let's uh, create copy these routes and paste them inside our user routes now let's import these methods as well and our uh, user router is also ready uh, all we need to do is now to merge these uh, user router and uh, auth router inside our app router uh, first let's remove these useless imports Okay, now what we can do is we can use merge method and this will allow us to merge other routers inside this app router. So we will add our auth router as well as our user router here. Okay, so let's just test it out once and see if our uh, routes are working properly or not. So our login route is per working perfectly. So let's move to the next part. 
now let's remove this hard coded strings and in, instead of calling sorry connecting to database in every single method we will connect once at the beginning of the app in the main and then share that same database connection across the application okay so let's start by creating another model called utils and inside that we'll create a mod.rs now this utils will contain a lot of stuff in the future but for now let's just create a constant uh, module and this will uh, this constant module will be we will be using this uh, for uh, anything that we will get from our uh, uh, .env So inside this constants we will be using lazy static so we'll create a, a reference to a static variable called database url and it is of type string so this will basically hold our connection string which we will get from our env okay so let's create a function called set database and what this method will do is it will take the database connection string from our env file and uh, store it inside our database url variable let's import env and use lazy static Okay, so we don't have lazy static for now, so let's just uh, add that as well using cargo. And now what we can do is we can uh, create our database connection in our server method in main and then we can pass it to every we can pass it to uh, every route in our app router so first let's get our connection string and then create our database connection Now let's create a layer and send our DB across the routers. Okay, let's go to our handlers and uh, add a parameter for our database connection and comment out these database connection strings. And we can also now remove these useless inputs 
and we should be good to go now let's run this and test it out in postman okay so as you can see everything is working fine we have created a new user as well as uh, we are getting a data in all users method as well that's all for this video in the next one we will carry out uh, pa uh, password hashing and uh, login using jwt